I said the N word five times <laughs> before the stream. Nerdrotic. That's what he said. He said nerdrotic. He said nerdrotic. 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 Proper N word around here. Okay. I Game also word, said gamer words are flying before this one started. <laughs> whoa, 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 wow, 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 wow. Um, it's uh it's a it's a special tuesday uh for, I, some people are talking about this thing that's going on in america that uh, mm. our country basically is on the brink of uh taco tuesday taco tuesday, <laughs> uh, taco, taco tuesday or Thanks. or commie tuesday so. we'll, we'll we'll find out we'll find out i for taco tuesday i always do uh, <sighs> i support my aztecs right here see hey i look mm. a nice aztec yeah and um this is the real BBC. I actually have some stuff to bag and board and chat, and that's why I need to start out with a little confession. Oh. Oh, yeah. So I, I'm a yeah, nerd. Scary. I'm not going to apologize for being a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> and when my favorite comic book artist <laughs> decides to do a Batman book, I'm like, fuck. Damn it. Uh, okay, if I buy it from somebody else, is, is that buying it from DC? I got it worked out in my head that it, that I didn't give money to DC. I gave it to a guy on eBay. But uh, yeah, I had to get it. Where's the cover? I fucked up. I had to get it. Ooh. Batman and the Joker Deadly Do. Is it one shot? It's a oh. mini series. It's a oh, mini series that's out of continuity that he did a while ago. That they're you know because dc needs money now so they they need to do things like make good batman books and go <laughs> well why don't they just hire vita ayala you well, know i think i i know right mm. that i, I mean know. they're the industry standard yeah so i don't know like sylvester could come out as gay tomorrow i have no idea but uh mark sylvester is one of my favorite artists he freaking did some great x-men work and darkness and all that stuff i got um, a, i got three I got comics it. What'd you get? Ooh, back yay. issue. That's good. That's good. Boy, these are back issues. <laughs> I ain't buying no new J shit. J. Scott Campbell. J. Scott. I love. I mean, I love he infuriates me. He infuriated me. But uh, we got the six oh one. We got the six oh six. That's my favorite. It's the black cat. And then we got. 607 black cat as well oh my god i love her so much she's so sexy hi felicia hi felicia so yeah i uh i'm kind of uh investing in the fact that um mainstream comics don't have long left they don't so back issues are really gonna be Sort I, after. I asked how well. I mean, this thing is selling as well as expected, but it's not like blowing the lid off, like uh, at least according to comic shops I talked to, like uh, King Spawn did um, oh, about a year ago. Yeah. Um, but it's it's doing well. Like, uh, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see. That I don't must have two issues for me. I I yeah. I ain't back in. I know. I I got. I went to three, and it was fine. I just like it didn't like move me to didn't like grab me no. No, I just thought it was fine, and and like this book is is pretty good. It's pretty good. It's it's just a throwback. It's like a normal comic book, you know, but it's not like. Well, why why don't we get Mister Chuck yeah. Dixon to write then a nice uh, Batman piece? That'd be great. Yeah. Why why won't you let Chuck Dixon write one DC? Because uh, it'd be good. Oh, we it'd can't. Be good. Have... They'd have to pay him a proper wage because he's a proper writer. He's a proper and, writer. Uh, Unfortunately, he votes a different way, so he's not allowed in the uh, club. Yeah, I numbers. think he's going to be oh. voting down the line <laughs> reddish to them. Mm. That might be a problem for him. Uh, yeah, it's it's yeah, it's not going to bring me back. I'm not going to go back to mainstream comics. No way in hell. This is like the unicorn. I'm like, uh, yeah, I'll get this. And I, I I don't even know if I'll get the rest of the series. We'll see. <laughs> like, see, issue two has got to be just as good. But we are here. Uh, real BBC. BBC is bagging, boarding, and chatting. That's what it is. We bag and board comics. We chit, chitty chit chat chat. Uh, somebody's missing uh, today because he uh, he's got Eldridge God IR. I don't know. Is it IRL stuff with an Eldridge God? Mm. Uh, interdimensional, I would say. Interdimensional. Mm. 
uh, stuff. So yeah, IDEO, something mm-hmm. like that. But uh, he's going to pop in later. Yeah. But we do have Az. What's up? Hello. I've literally just finished rendering a video. So there's a video that's going to come out. The But we're going to be doing some discussing, no doubt about it here. But I, I went through the, the Rotten Tomato critics. And they have not got a clue what to do with Black Panther's scores. <laughs> Well, oh. they literally range from 10 out of 10 to 2 out of 10. Really? I thought yeah. it was all going to be 10 out of 10 because well, it's first, the best movie ever. First, I just want to acknowledge <laughs> um, that, uh, yes, <laughs> is the first movie in history to hit 1,000% on Rotten Tomatoes. So brave. So Stunning. 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 They're saving lives. Wakanda forever. Uh, it's not going to pass. The, the, it's going to have a 68% drop probably in the second week. As I spoke with somebody who I won't reveal right now. I guess the review embargo ended like right after I said, where are the fucking reviews? Yes. And about an hour later, <laughs> all the reviews. Came, so I guess the review embargo. And by the way, this film opens day after tomorrow. So that's never a good sign. Um. And the person I talked to said it's Eternals bad. Like Eternals has Ooh. has competition now. It's it, it's it. Ne- Namor is worse. Namor. In the film. And uh, I, I think I agree with the person. It, they should have recast the role. Show proper homage to the late great Chadwick Boseman, who was a, who was a really good Black Panther. Okay, I, I like had no problem with him in Civil War uh, and Infinity War, um, but. Um, you recast the role. No, no, no role. No actor is bigger than the role. They recast Joker. Yeah. Uh, they recast yeah. Uh, uh, General Ross like immediately with no problem. Oh. Mm. Yeah. With I remember Ford. when they recast Joker and everyone was like, "How dare you recast him?" And like, he, it's oh going to be God. terrible. And then everyone was like, "Oh my God, that was amazing! <laughs> like that was great that they sh- that yeah. they recasted him." I mean, it, you have to. The show must go on, as they say. It ha- absolutely has to. So, uh, yeah, uh, that, that person will go into that a little more. But, uh, yeah, it's been a couple weeks, dude. So, uh, sorry I missed last week. Oh, uh, it's okay. I'm gravy, I'm baby. Boys. You were having you fun. Rescue poos. I was watching from <laughs> We got to talk screen. more about Nixium. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we did. Well, if you want to make it spicy, we should get that girl who follow uh, the, the what's that guy? Uh, Nikki Klein. Nikki Klein. Oh my god, I invite her on. Yeah, she would come. She would come on. Oh my she, god, she, 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 on Twitter. she has never been afraid to talk about this stuff. Like, <gasps> oh, my oh we god. know. Oh I, my yeah. <laughs> I, I give her credit. Like, she is like, nope. We so, really know. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> She was she was good in Battlestar Galactica. She, she was, was. yeah, she was. Hey, cults are cults. Uh, you can, I mean, we have a giant one in America right now that's way more dangerous than Nixium. Okay, uh, <laughs> get out there and vote. Get yeah. out there and vote. No, I, I would say the globalist cult is uh, pretty bad. I mean, they're really bad, but at least they're not Brandon. <laughs> at least uh, not, yet. not yet not yet what are you talking yes. about yeah, yes. they, they, they will be branding us and making us eat bugs and living cement boxes okay hey i found out uh <laughs> candy bugs. corn has bugs in it and now i know why i don't even now i know why i don't uh, like i want to inform you all of your candy has horse hooves and cow bit no. parts and bugs and all no. kinds of shit in it yeah no all your food does yes so uh, like all the candy is brought to you by the, the world all the gummy bears, stuff. all the gummy bears. What do you think they make that stuff? Just, come on, I don't eat that from sparkles and rainbows. Yes, God, mm, it's Care yeah. Bear poops. Okay. Come on now. Okay, <laughs> I, I ain't eating no Care Bear shit. <laughs> Fuck off. These gummy bears are made from from Care Bear poop. Fuck off. <laughs> you want to look on a fucking face for me? I'll fucking so, twat you. I will twat you. <laughs> 
So the meetup was great. It's not the thing that tired me out. It's like one of the things that tired me out. It was just going so hard. <laughs> Five to Mrs. Ned Roddick. Yeah, Woo! this is in. Woo! You go, girl. You get That's it. Cool. That too. <laughs> she's she's gone this week, so I'll have a little extra energy. <laughs> um, <laughs> um yeah love you melissa where was i never mind it was it was <laughs> good two months we'll just say that <laughs> that was a good two months uh as dude uh so you got a video coming out today yes uh yeah we're good talk we're talking about what, what the critics critics don't know what to make of black panther 2 right dude now. There is some that are like, fuck Disney. I'm tired of selling my integrity forever. <laughs> Cause there's one good one, dude. That is like, oh, there's a really good one, which I do put review. in the video. Yeah. But there's, there's a great one, though, that's just like, this Black Panther 2 brings like integrity and intensity and incredibly crafted story to this amazing Marvel universe. Six out of ten. <laughs> oh, no way. Six out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> no oh that's funny <laughs> oh they suck <laughs> oh god what do, you do? what do you do what do you do oh my god uh, here let's see how much i can say oh okay wait eternals has competition for worst mcu film wow can't believe what i just saw uh, <laughs> this movie will fail miserably once word and honest reviews get out Whoa! Wow. I'll leave it there. That's a good one. That is somebody who saw the film. Saw the film. Uh, yeah, you you haven't seen it yet, that yet, though, right? Have you? No, seen it? no. I'm gonna. I see. I see all things with the plebs. I don't see things early. Fuck mm. that. Well, I mean, I'll see it on the uh, like Thursday. But I bought tickets to. Black I'm gonna see this with Captain Jack fucking Sparrow, mate. Save <laughs> <laughs> uh, your I, ass. ass. <laughs> I support black people, so I bought a ticket to Black Adam. <laughs> <laughs> and, stand, oh, and I'm going to sneak in until we're coming Panther. forever. I was like, well, if you support black people, you shouldn't be seeing Black Panther because you're white. But Yeah, you should be buying a ticket and then yeah, um, you gotta getting buy the food, a ticket then for protecting the door. Yeah. In case white people you gotta be a watch. human shield now. <laughs> oh, black Adam, Black Adam isn't good. Like if for some reason I get like blocked out, I'm not gonna go and watch Black Adam. <laughs> <I'll> just... <laughs> <Hi>. <laughs> See you later. Excuse me, do you have a ticket for something black? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the mood for something black today. Do you have a ticket, sir? <laughs> I have cash monies. <laughs> Oh my god. Excuse me, do you know any black people I can give you? <laughs> yes. I just happened to move into the area and I just wondered if you happen to know any POCs that are in need of some cinema tickets. Do you have any Mayan with uh maybe a little bit of Aztec blood in them? Any DNA test before I can give away my tickets. Got a penchant for crossing borders. You can't have too much Spanish in you. That's colonialism. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh my god, I'm not nice. no, no, no. for your tickets, please. <laughs> oh god. I want to, I mean, like we knew it would get worse before it gets better, right? Mm -hmm. And we're, we are so in the get worse. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's objectively funny now. It's like unintentionally, I've been kind of laughing my ass off, especially like the last week since mm -hmm. Elon has made everybody meltdown. It's been glorious. Glorious. Yeah. It's been and, and, uh, amazing. Twitter has the most traffic it's uh, ever had, mm -hmm. like ever had. I don't know, but ever, ever. It seems like, I, 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 Elon. I love how like all the lefties are like, we're leaving for this place called the Mastodon that I've never fucking heard about. Uh, but they're all still Rival. there. Um, they're talking. Oh, they want the, the Mastodon. Did you see? I think it was Mastodon. Somebody, <laughs> I cannot share it here. Somebody posted the greetings. Some of them got there. <gasps> Woo! Oh, no, my. I didn't see that. Oh, gamer words are flying. Wow. <laughs> oh, no. Flying. It was. Funny is it like uh, is this a safe place to have a conversation? And they're like, mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, it's so fucking funny. Um, 
yeah, it's you know, uh, they they lost one. They lost one fucking site. They own absolutely everything else, and they've lost their fucking minds. Yeah. Well, this is uh, one of the biggest propaganda sites that they have, and the, one of the biggest collusion ones that they have. So it's a big one to lose. Wow. <laughs> they wow. also they were also talking about nerdrotic as well. They were oh. saying nerdrotic. <laughs> 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 I can't make that tagline <laughs> the new N word. Yeah. <laughs> I am the new N word. Yeah. <laughs> you are the N word. I am the N word now. <laughs> hey, my name is Nina. Does that mean I'm an N word? <laughs> yep. Well, we, well yeah, because it begins with oh, N. Yeah. Hi, Nina. Hi. Hi, <laughs> Gary. Speaking of N words. Speaking of N words, I'm here. I'm Nina Infinity. Thank you for having me on, Gary. I uh, got a new calendar uh, calendar campaign going on. It's for the fans and will be funded by the fans. So if you're interested, please check it out. I'm sure the mods are dropping the links. Um, uh, some guy on Twitter told me that uh, he bets his life that it's not going to get funded. Um, so I, I hope that you prove him wrong i think i don't i don't know Ooh, that sounds bad <laughs> doesn't sound confident i'd be confident in that stuff i mean like there is a way to make a calendar sell easily but i would not suggest it here <laughs> <laughs> nina gary say get your tits out it's a good start today it's hey they're saying. out already there's cleavage yeah. there's some there's come for the overton window some come for the boob window <laughs> x-ray girl was like i'm gonna cover mine up to help you to, to help you out and i was like girl let him out let him breathe yeah. um that's why x-ray girl and i aren't talking right now oh jeez oh wow <laughs> i make it in the circle and this is the treatment i get you make it in a circle you literally harass me for 48 hours wow <laughs> And Tell then, you didn't when you enjoy got in the it. circle, complained that it took you this long to get into the fucking circle. You know, if you have to complain to get into the circle, are you really in the circle? I don't think so. No, Gary, I, I have complained. I, I wasn't reaction. in your circle. You had Frosk in your circle, and I wasn't in your <laughs> circle. You were. Yeah, you were. No, I wasn't. I'm like, you what? Were. What? You're in the inner circle. No, I wasn't. Yeah, you were. You were. You were in the inner circle. I was so sad. You were in the inner hey. circle. As yes, not for Gary. For let's, Gary. Let's, let's check. Let's go check. Let's go, go check. check. Let's She's go there. check. Am I blind? I, tell you. I think you're blind. And I'm gonna I check. You, I'm sure. Then you're gonna have to send me your glasses finally, Gary. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to need them because I apparently I'm blind. This is X-ray. This is what X-ray girl wants from my circle, Gary. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Excuse me. I need attention. I need you to like him for me this is you you harassed me for 48 hours right and when i posted the original circle lady grace master was so happy that she made it into a circle she's like <laughs> oh i never make it into circles and i made it into a circle. i'm so happy and then because this wench <laughs> fucking harassed me for 48 hours it 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 with the circle oh, lady no. grace master. <laughs> and all she can do is complain well, she's a... sorry. No, you're not sorry. Not. <laughs> you're not sorry at all. How, how dare you? No, <clears throat> no. I, I think you quite enjoyed it. I'm not gonna lie. You probably you're in really the circle, Lady Grace. Was like, I'm in a circle now. <laughs> Maybe they can uh, find it out. See, okay, they... here we go. Here we go. Oh. I have proof. I have proof of this circle situation. <laughs> so the dog just walked past. <laughs> like what okay, here are we go. crazy people doing? This is, this is Gary's circle. Where am I? Where? Uh, behind Frosk. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? I, yeah, sorry. It's every July. I thought it was you. You're very similar looking. To... <laughs> it's listen, the N-wordness. I get it. You, you ratio a bitch once a month. You get. <laughs> oh my god! 
Ratio a bitch. Ratio a bitch for a day, and she will complain. Ratio a bitch forever. And she never she goes away. Comes. It's like luggage. It's like herpes. I was like, wow, no, like my <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Hey, Gary, did anyone you know ever get monkeypox? <laughs> uh, That's a personal question to ask. Holy shit. Or, uh, no one no. I knew. No, this, 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 this incoming epidemic of monkeypox. I got news for you. It was uh, <sighs> a state of emergency. <laughs> is it the fucking deja vu? We were in the Matrix. Oh, the, the dog just dog? went past the door again. Yeah, uh, well, there's a glitch in the matrix. Yeah, that happens. Right you know? <laughs> it's just we're in the matrix. Dog walks Quick, fucking red pill me. Put me, fucking get me out of here. Uh, it's going crazy. Started with the circles, and now it's the dog. There you go. Hi, X ray girl. Weird. Hi. Echo Zoday girl. I'm well rested. I'm excited to be silent. Um, and I will let my puppies out maybe tomorrow. Wow. The lunar, when Nina's not there. Oh my. Are this you is, this that is threatened by my cleavage? No, no. Go to I war. Am. Two tribes go to war. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really, ass? Yeah, when two tribes go to war, we win. We can be teammates and we can like do the boob bump. Like, wow. Next time I see you, we can boob bump. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'd be down for that. I'm down with Oops, it. What did you say? Very, very sorry to report that uh, Amanda Palmer, lead singer of the Dresden Dolls, formerly, and uh, Neil Gaiman <laughs> uh, are, are getting divorced after 11 years of an open marriage. Uh, I'm shocked at this turn of events. <laughs> Shocker. Shocker. I didn't Just know he was she's... in an open marriage. I will say this. I didn't know that he was in an open marriage. Somebody sent me some footage of them uh, being interviewed by Lucy Lawless. And this was going back a few years, I think. Yeah. And holy shit, just hearing them, <clears throat> like the conversing and they're both sort of like, <laughs> but inside, you could just tell inside, they're just like, well, he's like, fucking, uh huh. Fuck this shit, you know? It's just, it's like two people who were together, but she was just like needling him and needling him. It's like, no, man. Mm. I would have some sympathy for you if you weren't such a cunt. Really? Absolutely. <clears throat> oh, all right. Uh, what do I want to go over first? Wakanda forever. Oh, that's it, don't we? Mm. Uh, let's see. Do we want to go to Rotten Tomatoes? Yes. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Uh, we're going to see how far a little bit later, how far we can get through Amazon's diversity and inclusion initiative. Oh, oh man. Bad. Another one? <laughs> Didn't they already have one? No, they have one. It's the same one as Disney that we've read. It's the, uh, okay. The, we went over the BBC one as an eye like a million years ago. Okay. We're just going to go over this one because it's it's pretty fresh. Uh, mm -hmm. Kind of like these Wakanda Forever reviews. Thanks. Yeah, Activision put out theirs too for Call of Duty and I laughed. That was funny. <laughs> well, CD Project Red comes out with theirs. <clears throat> and they explain it fully, and then Henry Cavill leaves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, did you hear that? Like they came out and they said that they're re like they're making The Witcher for the like re revisioning. The, they were, the, uh, yeah, the they one. are remaking, reimagining, reimagining. Mm, right. Mm. Yeah. Remake. Remake. Fuck that. So Wakanda forever. Updated for a modern audience. Oh, yeah. updated for a modern audience. <laughs> updated for a modern audience. Uh, Programming. I, I love. I love what Gothic says about it. That's like woke aside. <laughs> it <laughs> is. People say woke. that it's woke aside. I've been watching Gothic's uh, <laughs> when she um she watches like uh some documentary or something. Then she'll give her takes on it. Oh, they've been they've oh, been so really, good. really good. So good. I love it when she does that. So what do these people say? And by oh, these people, I mean the journalists. Uh, <laughs> what do you mean these people? 
they are actually probably under their desk, scared to death right now. If they're uh, if they're white critics, if they well, eight dollars mm. and they can speak. Yep. Ah, that's true. <laughs> it's craziness going on right now, right? Isn't it like Ethan Klein? <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Uh, oh. What will we do without Ethan Klein? Oh, without and his Kathy Griffith too. Aww. Kathy Griffith. Oh, oh no! I bet a, a, bunch of people, a bunch of people lost their accounts though, like a bunch, because they they all followed Val. Uh, it was Valerie Bertinelli, I think. That's the first person I saw do it and start trending. Who? And. Uh, I came. Is that the Huntress's daughter? Dude, no, <laughs> Valerie Bertinelli. You know, oh, she's no. a sitcom actress. She's, uh, Schneider. You don't remember Schneider? Oh my God, she was married to Dude, Eddie Van Halen. I'm in the UK. She's she's Wolfgang Van Halen's mom. Oh, so her. I, I, I just looked her up. Okay. I was about to impersonate her completely and just say Eddie's all right, but make mine Malmstein. But I didn't because I saw people <laughs> start to get banned. I was like, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oops. Uh almost did it though. Almost pulled the trigger on that. Uh, well, as long as you say parody in in, in your name, you're, you're fine. I used her profile picture. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> it was, it was her description. It was the fuck around of times. It was the it was find the out find out is the times. Time. <laughs> <laughs> That was the best tweet last night. Oh, it's right under uh, Ethan's. Oh my god! Oh. So and then he did a whole podcast crying. He, he did. did? Oh, yeah. No. yeah, people watch cope. it. Dude. I, uh, hey, you know, uh, somebody for everybody. Did he actually uh, cry? No, oh. no, he's just, just <laughs> okay. you know, but just uh, he he was you know the emoji of the uh, the NPC who's mad but puts yeah, on the, yeah, yeah. the smile mask. That was basically. Oh, okay. Yeah, he, like he, you could tell it bothered him, but he's pretending it didn't bother him oh, like, yeah. in, in the Ethan way. Gotcha. But it really bothered him. <laughs> but it really bothered him. Uh, Christine, Kristen Acuna from The Insider says, while full of breathtaking visuals, a few truly shocking moments and another Grammy worthy soundtrack from Ludwig Gors. Really? From Beethoven. I can't remember a single effing soundtrack from fucking a Marvel from a Marvel. Movie. <laughs> I like, seriously can't. They're 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 not very good. They're super bland. Very uh, generic, usually. Super yeah. Bland. Goodbye, Yellow Bit Road from Out and John, but that was the Ant Man trailer the That's other day. Using somebody else's song for a trailer. Yeah. To, for a boring ass, crappy looking CG trailer. Uh, the sequel wastes. A decent portion of its lengthy two hour and 41 minute runtime on setting up spin offs. B. Plus. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Well, yeah. I mean, that's all. Iron Heart. Yep. Remember when people bitched about Iron Man 2? And <laughs> yeah. Yes. Iron yeah. Man 2, a thousand oh. times. Do you oh, know who makes a cameo in Iron Man 2? Who? Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Oh, my God. That's right. I don't remember that. Uh, Princess. Uh, weeks from the Mary Sue. You know, they wrote about me I think a month ago, a couple of months ago, and I totally missed it. It's like, yeah. Fuck. So, Aww. sorry, it's the, Mar it's the Mary Sue, mate. Everyone missed it. <laughs> yeah, who read it? Good point. Uh, but no, it's going to go in my Wakanda Forever review. Excellent. It was something like, can we stop being gross about She Hulk before it even comes out? No, oh, she was a fucking whore and a <laughs> drunk. Yeah, it, was actually, it was actually gross, sir. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Black Panther Wakanda Forever is under a lot of pressure, but Kugler lands it. The performances are strong and the stakes feel natural and internal. Internal? The, the, the stakes feel internal. What does that mean? What, what does that mean? Uh, is there, uh, um, she wants the she wants she wants inside of her. <laughs> She wants the steak. Oh God! <laughs> yep. Give it to me raw. <laughs> <laughs> for that, hang on. I got a clip for that. Where is it? <laughs> give me the meat and give it to me raw. Five minutes later. <laughs> 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 A 
Laura Clifford. Reeling review. Let's go to Deadline Hollywood. Pete Hammond. There can be no doubt Kugler has meticulously thought all of this out while still delivering the rip-roaring action sequences and uncredited surprise appearances we expect from any Marvel movie, but especially its crown jewel. Is Black Panther Marvel's crown jewel? It made a lot of money. Uh, no, it's not. It's let, let's not. just be. Let's just really be honest. The only reason why she's saying that is because it's full of black people. Okay, yeah. Let's keep in mind, Black Panther was released in 2018, right? 18, 18. I don't know. Is it 18. Ish. 17. Maybe 17. 18. Ish. 18. 18. 19. 18. 18. 18. 18. 18. I just looked. More up. importantly, in the middle of February in the middle of Black History Month. Uh, at the rise of Trump, it was, it was uh, Disney manufactured a cultural moment. It was some of the greatest marketing I have ever, ever seen. Hmm. They, they made it the first Black superhero film, even though it wasn't, but that was being with a <laughs> lot. Um, and, By the way, Halle Berry was really pissed off. With and they convinced you, <laughs> right? That like, you are fighting racism if you go see Black Panther. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they convinced you to do like that you supported a giant billion dollar corporation that supports concentration camps thinking you're fighting racism by buying a black panther ticket uh, that's some marketing a wow. movie that they disney put the mask on chadwick boseman for china yep okay don't forget that oh yeah you were, you were giving them money to fight racism and they were committing racism Holy shit, that was like that is that is the devil at his best, at his mm -hmm. absolute best. So um yeah, it's not it's it, it like above average movie, maybe that's arguable. That's pretty arguable. There's some good performances in it and stuff, but like it is a ooh, the most solid six or seven out of ten. I give it four or five. Oh, I know some people give it's it worse. crap. I haven't I... Watched, I have watched it once. Yeah, I watched yeah. it once in the theater, and I, I didn't yep. really like it either. I was like, eh. I watched, watched it once, right. and that was in 2020, last year, 2021. I felt I so bad to... for not liking it. Like, at the time, I was like, oh, no, does this mean I'm racist? Well, <laughs> I, mean, well, I just needed to watch the Marvel movies that I hadn't seen at the cinema. So it was like Ant-Man, um, Doctor Strange, Black Panther, and Captain Marvel. But I never watched Captain Marvel. I, I watched, watched it. I watched. I watch them all. I, I have to. It's. Part I of watched the... Captain Marvel because I. I was like, what Ms. if Marvel. I miss something? I skipped Miss Marvel. Oh yeah, I skipped, I, I skipped the it. first one. I'm I it, it skipped. Yeah. Oh no, you watched Hulk. I didn't. I, I skipped Shang, Shang Chi and Eternals <clears throat> as well. Like I think. Nope. Oh, I was gonna miss Eternals for the world. I knew it was gonna be dog. <laughs> uh, and I was just. I just need to see. Like I was impressed with how dog shit it was it's whew. um new york post says wakanda forever solidifies black panther as marvel's richest and most high quality franchise uh -huh. or, or really better than captain captain america's trilogy which is like really good really really good uh owen gleberman says the movie doesn't have the classic comic book pow of black panther and is easily 20 minutes too long yet wakanda forever has a slow burn emotional slow burn emotional suspense once the film starts gathering steam it doesn't let up <clears throat> uh, how long is this movie two hours 41 minutes yeah it's oh. i think it's really gonna affect uh that, that down the road it's probably gonna have a really really good weekend opening weekend and just like putter out that's way too long mm -hmm. that's what she said that's what she said <laughs> um and it doesn't have Black Panther. In it. it doesn't have Black Panther. This is a movie where they've been hiding the protag the uh, uh, protagonist for forever. Like we haven't seen who Black Panther is. They're like they're trying to make it a mystery, and it's like supporting cast the film, you know. And like if they'd done Namor right, maybe, but they didn't. So well, the the promo videos that they released for it have been fucking god awful it's like really like th this is the best you got from this two and a what 45 minute movie wow two hour 45 minute movie uh here, here's one of those famous i don't know what to say about it 
There's more than enough wit and beauty and imagination to Wakanda Forever to outweigh its weaknesses. Four out of five. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Was it? Um, I think it's uh, Bleeding Cool that says the story's a mess, and then it gives it nine out of ten. <laughs> 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 But let's read out uh, Robbie Colin, Colin, oh, Colin, yeah. Colin from the Daily Telegraph. Colin, uh, Colin, Colin. Uh, bless Colin. Robbie Colin. Uh, a new <laughs> three-hour endurance run of gloomy photography and turgery staged, emotionally empty two-way conversations, all seemingly designed to sap the cast and viewers' combined will to live. <laughs> What two out of this is the two out of ten? Dude. One out of five. <laughs> wow. Uh somebody didn't see the same movie as uh we'll see um black girl nerds, Jamie Brodnix, who gave it five out of five. Right, black right. Panther Connor Forever is by far the best film in phase four of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Phase five has some big shoes to fill after this one, and hopefully the storytelling could create the same kind of authenticity and greatness this movie has. Well, hang on, hang on, because, I mean, to be fair, to be fair, phase is it, four is utter garbage, so it they, might be the best one out of phase four. Did they make the movie with the flying fish guy and the green speedos and the wings on his uh, uh, They made that authentic? authentic <laughs> authentic that's it authentic. wasn't authentic he's not authentic to the fucking comic book that's not namor it's namor <laughs> namor. namor um yeah I like it, the reason we go to mar the marvel cinematic universe the reason we used to go to it was though they were they owned marvel so we knew it would be some studios interpretation of daredevil or spider-man or hulk or thor it would be Marvel's interpretation, except that's not the case anymore because Marvel's dead. Marvel Comics is dead. The MCU that we started watching is dead. It got taken over by Disney. It got usurped and destroyed. End of story. It's done. It's done. It's cooked. You can phase fucking five, six, seven. They're all just going to be diminishing returns. That's how I feel about Star Wars. <laughs> it's dead. Until it's you have dead. Robert Downey Jr.'s like head on some CGI body of a stump man in like five years for Secret Wars. Mm. You think that's still gonna happen? Maybe. Uh, maybe, maybe, unless more actors start acting like Henry Cavill and start like, you know what? Walking away. I don't need this yeah. shit. I don't need this shit. Um, and uh, you might see more of them do that. Say no. Say, fuck no. <clears throat> I don't want to be part of this anymore. Because right now, Marvel's the only game in town, so like that's that's why they've been getting so many actors. Remember, they couldn't get any in the beginning. <clears throat> and that was better. You, like It's better to have unknowns play superheroes. It just is. Uh, Robert Downey Jr. is such a unique case, but, I mean, he wasn't uh, a known anymore. He was he was no. very much an unknown when he yeah. was back in the Iron Man. They took a risk on him when, when that risk. was happening. Oh, let's see. Paid off, though. Where's Bleeding Stool? By the way, they announced Chris Evans as the uh, the world's sexiest man. I object to that. Henry Cavill should have been the world's sexiest man. Yeah. I mean, Chris Evans might be the world's sexiest man who likes men. <laughs> <laughs> hey -o. I'm looking for Bleeding Stool. Why am I please oh, wait a minute? I'll re read Stephanie's from um <laughs> wait a minute. Why are like why are they coming in here twice? We just read these two. Oh dude, when you refresh it, it removes some, it adds some, it it's it's really weird right now. Yeah, there's some weirdness Ooh. going on. I saw Gracie. What did Gracie say? So not enough tidy whiteies, not enough Ooh. black men wearing tidy whiteies. <laughs> You can drill up. Uh, I could. Okay. Uh, but I always want to put bleeding stool. Nope. 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 Polygon, Mary Sue. Oh, we're talking the bastion of uh, integrity here. And now, hey, do you see the image for the acolyte? 
Uh, yeah, I did. No. <laughs> no. Wow. That one's going to be a disaster. Oh, the yeah, the acol uh, the acolyte like uh cast like thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Harvey yeah. Weinstein assistant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Leslie I saw that. Headland. Uh, yeah. There's variety. The movie, <clears throat> the movie doesn't have the classic. Oh, I read that one. New York Post read that one. The rap. Uh, there's a great deal to enjoy here, and fans of Black Panther won't necessarily leave feeling disappointed. But there's a sense of strong element, a sense of strong elements of not quite coming together. What the fuck does that even mean? Uh, well, there's quite a few of those, just like um, people who love Black Panther and, and love this franchise are, are not going to be disappointed by the disappointment they'll feel when they leave. <laughs> <laughs> Black a couple of them cover stuck away in there. Is emotionally gratifying journey with diplomatic takes mm. that feel vigorous. Mm. Uh, despite Ooh, my, my. overcrowded narrative. Uh, 3.5, B+. Plus. Uh, I know, uh, IGN's going to Oh, that, that was bit. Collider there. Oh. IO9. <laughs> let's have a look. Let's have a look. The Black Panther Shemaine. works completely... Uh, defies logic the film juggles so many storylines so many characters and so many emotions it's seemingly too much for any one movie to handle but wakanda forever does it oh, it of course it does of uh, course that it doesn't i'm gonna give you the problems i have with it and say they're not really problems <laughs> <Yes. the end. laughs> yeah. let me backtrack a little bit yeah. <laughs> i'm wait, wait telling a you what's wrong with the movie but it's good I'm he starts there. writing it and he's like all this stuff is wrong and then he's like wait a minute i wasn't paid to be what i mean about this movie i gotta uh rethink this all the problems with the movie actually turn out to be positive positive <laughs> wow <laughs> <laughs> that's incredible that's amazing <laughs> who would have thunk it the horrible acting, the horrible writing, and the horrible effects that look like everybody's standing in front of a green screen all, all come <laughs> together. Just work for the movie. <laughs> it all it somehow falls into it place. Just works. 10 out of 10, please don't cancel me. 